Okay, here is the moment of truth. For the first time I am able to hook it up to power and actually every single digit works, which is a great sign. So um, we'll now go on with the rest. Okay, so the clock is working. Right now what it did was uh, a method against cathode poisoning, just display every digit to prevent them uh, sputtering material onto each other. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I set all the menus and stuff, the time and the date, and you can even set for every time of day you can set these uh, LEDs so for every hour you can select a certain brightness for them and when you press this button here you have your date and it works nicely don't ask me how this works I don't understand I understand electrics but I don't understand electronics so resistors LEDs and stuff I understand that but um, these things here that's where the magic happens. Okay, so uh, right now all that's missing is the casing. And um, then it's done. Okay, this is the plan for my metal housing that I want to put over the clock. And um, basically these are the measurements of the base. And these holes are each for one tube. And these two are for the columns in between. Uh, these two are the mounting holes onto the base. And these are all the holes for the tiny switches and LEDs and uh, the plug and so on. All that you can find on the back. And uh, I let them be lasered out of sheet metal from a company. And, um, well, as soon as it arrives, I'm going to mount it. And then that will complete the entire Nixie project. All right, here they are. The tips are rounded off and the ends. Um, I smooth them up by holding them into the flame and breaking the small corners. And uh, then they will get also glued onto the housing.